If you're here, it means you want freedom. The freedom of receiving the outcomes you desire. The freedom of knowing what people will do before they do it. And I must say, I respect it. Because you being here tells me that you're willing to go further than the average person. That you're willing to invest in yourself for the future, no matter if it costs your time, your life, or money. Today, I will teach you how Johan Liebert manipulates others to get what he desires. However, I do not want any evil intent to come from this video. Even though it's tempting to use these methods on others, I hope you guys will only use these tactics if absolutely necessary, and not to wreak havoc on the world like Johan does. Welcome to the Power Analysis. This is how to manipulate like Johan Lieber. Appearance. No, we're not going to be disguising ourselves as our siblings and family members. Instead, I want to talk about general appearance first. And I know this section isn't the most exciting, but please listen to it. It has been proven that people trust other people who have a healthy appearance and that they also believe that healthy looking individuals are smarter. However, we all know that healthy appearances do not equal trustworthiness or intelligence, but we believe it to be the case. So, knowing this information, would you not want to look your best? I mean, look at Johan. He could be described as handsome. Pause. Even Nina dropped to the floor when she saw him. I'm not telling you to get raging eight pack abs with a suntan, but I am telling you to groom yourself if you see that's something that needs to be worked on because that will improve your abilities in manipulating others. Even clothes can help drastically. And if you're someone who is willing to invest in themselves and their future, I suggest you get my book called Mindbreaker. If you want to achieve anything as fast as possible, whether that's for your studies, business, social media followings, sport, or anything that needs practice, this book will teach you how to do it. This ebook is available on Patreon and Amazon, but I suggest you get it on Patreon because you'll get other benefits like the power discord server, weekly learning sessions, one-on-one -on -one messaging, and having your name displayed at the end of my videos. There's so many of you that have joined already and improving themselves drastically, and there's so many positive comments on how this ebook has helped their life already, and I couldn't be any happier. So if you guys are serious about improving yourselves and getting ahead in the competition, I strongly suggest you get Mindbreaker on my Patreon and join the discord so you can chat with me and ask me anything you want. This will be the displayed in the description. Have a genuine interest in other people. If you're interested in others, which you should be if you want to manipulate them, you'll be able to spot their strengths and weaknesses. What makes them angry and lose control of themselves? What do they excel at that I can profit from it too? They're a mechanic? Cool, I'll build a strong connection with them so when my car breaks down, they can help me fix it for a cheaper price. They're good with business? Perfect. They could be my mentor and they could show me how everything in business works so I don't have to make the same mistakes that they did. I think this is one of the most important points in this video. If you're not interested in a person, they will sense it and they will not let you connect with them. If they feel that you're trying to befriend them just to receive something that they have, they will never let you emotionally or mentally alter them. Because once you're aware that something is after you, it's easier to spot, right? Because you're actively looking out for it. If you learn that this person has no particular value to you, don't pursue them any further as this will cause you to waste your time. But the best way to receive from someone is if you give something back in return. Think of it as a mutual exchange. If you do it this way, there will be no hard feelings if you just drop them completely. And you can also keep your cover, keeping your good reputation. Isolation. Once you've built a connection with your prey, you need to isolate them from other influences. Johan does this the best when he gets close to Hans Schuwald. He acts like the greatest friend, someone Schuwald can trust, but backstabs him in a way that's unimaginable. This, my friends, is due to isolation. Everywhere Schuwald went, he was there by his side. You may be asking how you can do this too. Simple. 1. Have a great appearance so they don't get scared away. I'm joking by the way. <laughs> 2. Have a genuine interest in them. 3. Become someone they can trust by spending lots of time with them, to the point where you're basically together every day. And 4. Isolate them by not letting in others, like their friends. Tell them that you don't really like their friends and that you wish it to be just the two of you. Even threaten your friendship if need be. However, as I said, I'm not telling you to do these things. This is just for educational purposes. Before we get into how to make a person interested in you psychologically, please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button if you want to see more anime analysis videos like these. Feed them crumbs.
In Monster, we barely know anything about Johan, his hobbies, interests, what he's thinking, and that makes him a fan favorite. Look at Itachi, mysterious. Levi, mysterious. Eren going from a kid to a full on beast, where we have no clue what he's thinking, and boom, fan favorite. Johan is the same. So do you want to be a fan favorite? <laughs> no, not an anime character, but a real person who's mysterious and keeps the chaser chasing. You feed them crumbs, little by little, day by day, you reveal something new to your target, so you never get placed in a zone of people like, oh, he's just a gamer, oh, he's a basketball player. Did you guys know I did a paper on analyzing personality change in university, where I took a couple people, made them take on certain activities for a couple months, and analyzed if they had changed in personality and behavior. Long story short, yes, it is possible to alter personalities, but it takes a long time and constant repetition, and it also depends on their age. A anyway, off topic here, but did you know I did this? Well, you know now. This was a crumb of information given to my subject, and now you're either thinking, wow, that's cool if you're interested, and whatever if you're not interested in personality change. It doesn't have to be something spectacular every day, just make sure it's something small and that makes your subject interested in you. Once this happens, it becomes easy to manipulate your target. I would also like to share a quote with you from Machiavelli. It is much better to be feared than loved. If you don't want other people to step on your toes, strike fear. And when manipulating a person, don't be afraid to use fear to your advantage. If you can strike fear at the right time, you can make a person do anything. And that is a deadly weapon. However, there are consequences, obviously. So make sure you plan out when to use it. And don't, please don't use it for evil purposes. That is all I'm trying to stress. I'm trying to stress that to you. But yeah, this is just for educational purposes. I hope you guys understand. I know this video was short, but I hope it helped you out in some way. Remember, if you want to know how I blew up on YouTube with just a couple videos, blowing up on TikTok from 0 to 120,000 followers within a month, learned how to speak and write English fluently in a couple of years, and learned how to edit YouTube videos professionally within just a month, I really suggest you get Mindbreaker on Patreon. Everything I have done to achieve things quickly is in the ebook, and all you have to do is invest in yourself and put the knowledge into action. Anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe and like the video for more videos like this in the future. This is the Power Analysis, and you have watched How to Manipulate Like Johan Niebuhr.